Hello there, this is a video tutorial giving you a brief overview of Erg Race Online for Competitors, which was software that was recently released from Concept2 and allows for the organisation of both informal and formal races on the Concept2 Ergs. The races themselves are managed via a web-based admin portal and for the participants they can use a mobile app which is available on Google Play and App Store for Android and Apple devices respectively. Android users just need to search for Erg Race Online in the Google Play Store and iOS users can also search for Erg Race Online in their App Store. Once all participants wishing to take place in a race have downloaded their app to their smartphone or smart device, the race organizer can go about creating a competition with the number of races being held in that competition. To do this, head over to admin.ergrace.com and once at the admin portal, organizers can simply input their Concept2 online logbook credentials and then log in. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to set up a single 100 meter race. So I'm not going to be racing anyone myself, but I'm going to give you a view of what the portal will look like and what the phone display will look like simultaneously as I go through the process. So first of all, I need to create a competition. I'm just going to call this test Gordon. Click the create new competition button. And you'll see here on the left now the competition has been created and it's got some kind of default information in there. There's a couple of things to pay attention to here. First of all, there's the competition code. Anyone that wants to take part in your competition needs to have this code as they will need to enter it into their Erg Race mobile app. The other thing to note is this live view URL. This can be given to anyone who wants to watch the race live on a web page. If we click on this, I can show you. We'll return to this web page later once we've got a race going. So back in the portal, I'm going to click on the competition name, Tess Gordon. And after a while, we see the competition with no races listed. So to create a new race, we click on create new race. So we give the race a name. I'm just going to call this 100 meter test. This is a distance race for time, as in the time will be the score. We're going to do it over 100 meters. I'm going to set 50 meter splits. And now at this point, there are two ways of managing a race. We can either wait until participants who have been given the competition ID that we took earlier have logged into Erg Race, entered the competition ID into Erg Race, and they can then become available as participants of that competition to manually add in to each race. The other way to do it is in advance of each race, get the ranking IDs of each participant. And by ranking ID, we simply mean the logbook ID from the Concept2 online logbook for that user. So back in the portal, I'm going to add a boat which is going to contain me. We can put the class in there, I suppose. I'm a lightweight and I'll then enter my ranking ID. Lastly, I'm just gonna save this race and now we can see that race listed in the list of races. You can obviously create more races at this point, 2000 meters, etc., which are all going to form part of your competition. So nearer the time of the race, hopefully I should have given the participants a rough time at what we're going to start. As the organizer, I'm going to click run race. And you can see here, it says a few things. So we've already got, it's waiting for Gordon Yu, who is me, to connect to the competition. And then once I'm happy that all participants are connected and I can see them in this athlete connection status panel, I can close entries and proceed to warm up. So here's the output of my phone. I've opened up Erg Race and I've logged in with my Concept2 logbook details. So now I'm going to click join competition and I need to put in the competition ID that I noted down earlier. and then click join competition. And then the last thing for me to do is on the phone is turn on my PM. 
click the connect button so it's ready to accept the connections and then on the phone click connect to performance monitor which it's done already and then if I click on race info I can see that I'm connected and that I'm already entered into the 100 meter test race so I've just moved my phone's display into the top right so you can see what's going on I'm back on the portal and now you can see here that under athlete connection status Gordon U is connected it's got some stats there and so now I'm going to close entries and proceed to warm up. So you'll see the phone's status also changes, it says entries are now closed, race setup is in progress. You need to give this 30 seconds or so for everything to update. And eventually you'll see that the phone's display changes. The admin portal now says prepare to race. And also on my PM there is a message that says it's okay to warm up. And so I'm going to go ahead and click the prepare to race button. Stop rowing and prepare for the start. And at this point, if we quickly flick back to the competition web output that I showed you earlier, and we click on summary, we can see here that we're going to see the output of the race details here. But also on this race page here, up the top left, you've got this live view button. So we can also click that and we'll see the same thing. So now everything's set, the participants have been prepared to race. We've got the race view up that I just got from that live view link. And then on the bottom right down here, we've still got the admin portal. So I'm going to click start race and jump on the rower. So on this live view, you can see that, of course, I came first uh, with a pretty poor 23.6, but I am wearing jeans and a jumper. And back here on the admin portal, we also get the preliminary results from the race. Uh, that's it. There's lots of other stuff that I could show you. Do read the, uh, the documentation that's available online for Erg Race if you want to know more. Thanks very much for watching.